Hi everybody. It's Jackie Schomburg Mine in. I am back to be live. Sorry about the last couple weeks. You can probably tell <clears throat> I still have a little roughness to my throat, so I've got some tea standing by. We'll see how it goes. Um, I am excited to be back though. Uh, for those of you who saw my video this weekend, I made these very, very rough um, collage papers from my gel plate using a uh, gel plate for dummies, totally uninformed test of how to use chalk pastels with a gel plate. And it had some success. I ended up getting some cool things. Um, but since then, you guys have told me about a video that um, Yates makes made that actually would have been beneficial for me to watch. I really wanted to have kind of a, a raw just experimentation and play with these, which is definitely what I got. But I may try it again in a more refined way now that I've I can watch the source video and get some actual pro tips. So let me close my door. I knew I forgot to do something. Okay, so let me get my camera a little bit straighter here. Hopefully that works. I'm also going to use some of these Derwent Intense Blocks. These are brand new, almost. I did make one video with these and it ended up that nothing was recording. So that was very frustrating. But I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to start off with this giant piece of paper and just see where we end up. And I'm hopefully going to be using some of these papers to collage in as well after I add some paint and some of this pigment. Hi Peggy, how are you? I should also check to make sure you guys can hear me okay. You guys just say yes in the chat if you can hear me. I was gonna try a different microphone today, but they're not charged and I wimped out because <laughs> I didn't wanna risk uh, you guys not hearing me for the entire time. All right. So let me start with some of these ink tents. So these are, uh, the way they've been described to me is kind of like a, uh, watercolor pigment situation but when they dry they are water resistant so they're, they're not water soluble anymore meaning they won't bleed into everything else that you're doing so let me try that I do just want to get my camera a little straighter here okay and I have a little bowl of water here off to the side that I'm going to be just dipping them into. And I might spray some as well, but for the time being. And you can see there's like a rich, this rich red comes out with the water. Oops. I'm also really good at breaking these. Hi everybody. <laughs> Jody, keep your um, expectations low because these are so new to me. I'm just literally just playing around with these two. But I really love how they become so vibrant with water. Hi, everybody. Judy from Sydney. Hello, hello. So nice to see you all, Philip. And Ida, I constantly overthink your name. <laughs> I can never remember if it's Ida or Ida or a different iteration. If you could help me with that again today, I'd appreciate it. My um, memory is, it's just like that of a gnat. I'm coming to terms with it as an adult, but it's just not gonna get better. Hi, Carrie from Atlanta. Is it sunny in Atlanta today? It's actually sunny in Chicago. It's still pretty cold, but at least it's sunny. It's 
spring is coming. For those of you who are subscribed to my newsletter, um, I sent out an email this morning about a free workshop coming up on April 1st. So if you didn't get it and you think you should have, please check your junk mail folder. Uh, the one I sent myself actually went to my junk mail folder, so that was not a good sign for me. So I'm a little nervous about that, but keep an eye out or you can just go straight to my website, JackieSchomberg.com um, and you can sign up right there. So it's totally free. There's no strings whatsoever. There's no hidden signups or anything else. Um, and if you sign up for it, you will, well, you have to register. That's the only thing. But again, I'm not going to, it just, you just have to register so that I can know who to send a link to. Um, and it's free. Two hours with me. We talk about um, process art and using art as a therapeutic mindful practice. So a little bit like meditation, a little bit like playing in a sandbox that focuses on the actual process of art making, not what you come away with at the end. So there's no way to do it wrong. So any of you who think, oh, I'm not an artist, um, you don't need to do anything or be anything other than yourself to fully participate and get benefits out of this. So that's my plug. If you're interested, go to JackieSchomberg.com slash workshops or check your email if you subscribe to my newsletter. And again, just check your junk mail because uh, I think things might be, might be some new algorithm with junk mail. I don't know. Just think of your name and how you pronounce it. So Ida, just like Jackie. Thank you, Ida. I don't know why some names are hard for me. I think vowels, I, I second guess myself. Plus my kids know a whole bunch of kids who have names that are spelled similar to names that I know, but they all, they're all pronounced differently. So that gives me pause for my own people. And I forget that, well, I don't know. I just forget that which way is which. Oh, thank you for your patience. Um, all right, I've made a, quite a grid out of this. As you can tell, since there was some water and I smeared that, that did smear, but that's okay. Get some marks over here. And again, you can tell that a lot of these marks are not super dark, which means they're not, they've not been activated by the water. But that's okay, because if they don't get activated by water, I'm still going to be going over them with some um, gloss medium. And that will set the color as well. And I am planning to cut this up after I get some shapes and colors down here, and probably some collage too. Hey Carl, happy lunch break. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Oops, I was just saying if you guys are signed up for my my newsletter and you didn't get it today, check your junk mail. I can always promise people I won't spam them because I'm terrible with, with newsletters in general. So um, you can always be sure that I will only send things out when I have something to say because otherwise I can never remember to actually send them out in the beginning or in the first place. All right, some green over here. It's really nice to be back. I miss a couple lives and the week feels so different when I don't get to actually connect with you guys. So thank you for joining me today. Clearly I'm 
feeling good with lines today. All right, one more color. Use this light green. Oh, Judy, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1 a.m. is probably not the best time for a class, for sure. Well, I will try to do another one next time with um, a different time zone. Or different, more flexible times. How's that? I'm actually having a lot of fun just drawing all this. Bergen, Norway. My relatives are from Bergen. I've not been there yet, but I will go. My mother's grandparents owned a bakery in Bergen a long time ago. One thing I'm noticing is when you get these wet, they get very like the whole thing is starting to dissolve now, so maybe don't get them completely wet the way that I am if you want your hands to stay clean. Okay, that's good. Wipe my hands off. All right, so I have my medium, and if I wasn't doing a live, I would probably just individually paint all these stripes. Because I'm doing a live and I want to not bore you guys to tears, I think I'm just gonna do this and hope for the best. All right, so that worked pretty well. I'm just smearing the, the medium across, and as long as you don't get too fussy with it, I've found that if you do one swipe, you can usually get away with things not smearing. Of course, now I'm going back and doing multiple swipes. So we'll see, but. This should give me enough protection. Ooh, this green is getting kind of funky. That's cool. Hey, SWL. Okay. Now, while this dries a bit, I think I've gotten almost everything. I'm gonna get some paints out so I can decide what to do. Looks like I'm going for a bit of a red and green thing today, so I'm gonna lean into that. Question is, do I wanna be more green or more red? I don't know, my gut says red. See how it goes. All right, I'm gonna use pyro red in my handy dandy condiment container. I'm gonna make some green with phthalo blue. And I'm gonna use Hansa yellow for my green. Well, oh, maybe I won't. I don't use yellow very often. This yellow. So I've got to clean out the tips here. All right, there we go.
Alright, well I've got a nice green. So that's good. It's kind of a nice pure emeraldy green. Kelly green. I do like that. Let's do some more stripes. The only bad thing with the stripes is, of course, now I have paint that's a little bit thicker than the rest, so it will take a little bit longer to dry. So I guess I'll stick with green for a bit. I don't know if you can, you can't see my palette. I'm adding a bunch more yellow here to make a yellowy green. I don't know if you guys can place your bets if you think it's going to be a green painting or a red painting at the end. Because I don't know which way it's going to go yet but I'm enjoying these greens. So far. Brayer's just sitting here. Look at this clean brayer. I peeled it all off the other day after I did my uh, jelly printing. I'll be using greens and blues. You know what? I rarely use this much green in anything and I fully expect for much of it to go away <laughs> in this process. But maybe it's the spring in the air. Maybe I'm just desperate for spring. It just feels good right now. I'm gonna add a little white. I'm actually going to add some gesso. This one's for you, Carl. <laughs> it's not a coat of gesso, but it's still gesso. It still counts, right? Maybe I'm channeling the Irish side of my family. I've got just a little bit of Irish heritage. Mostly Scandinavian though, so it's probably just the Vikings that were in Ireland. Well, the good news is I'm not picking up too much red over here, so at least my plan to set that is working. How about some celadon? Really, this is one of my favorite neutrals. It always looks lighter in the bottle than it is on the paper. I'm always surprised when, oops, I guess that green wasn't dry yet. I'm always surprised when it comes out darker. But it's such a soothing color to me. And as a girl who really, really likes rainbow colors, it was a very big departure when I started using it. All right, well, I'm definitely doing a good job making a mess which is always 
goal number one. So check, double check. Blot some of this green up with my paper so it stops lifting up. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do some white. Let's see. Just pouring it on. Not necessarily because I want to use a ton, but because it's easy. And because I can. Does anyone else spend a lot of time using the Derwent, um, whatever they're called, color sticks? What are these called? Inktense blocks. I'd love to know what you guys use them for. Just regular mixed media. Or use them by, by themselves. Very curious. wondering if they're used with watercolors just because then you'd have some things that would be they would allow the light through but not continue to blend as you add more color that's my theory Just so now I'm gonna add some of these or some of this. This is just white, titanium white. All of a sudden it's gonna give me a ton. There we go. So building up these layers of white still will allow me to see through the layers. But some of the colors will build so it'll be more opaque. Oh, Judy, interesting. Working with textiles. Textile medium. What's textile medium? Just using textile as a medium, or is there something called textile medium? Good for line work. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. All right, so you got to help me with your name. Opie Drahida? Need some phonetic help. You find green very challenging. Yeah, there are definitely certain colors that work better with our brains than others. I don't know how I feel about green sometimes. I like it when there are little pops of green. Especially when there's red around, right? They're complementary colors. It works well. Um, definitely creating some good messes here. What do I want to do next? I think 
All right, sorry I can't mute this. I'm gonna use my hair dryer quickly just to dry this off a bit and then I can do some glazing. primary magenta. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, but I will use the red. Acrylic medium. This fixes the index color on the fabric without changing the feel. Oh, nice. Well, that's really nice. Olga, thank you. Everyone's screen names are so creative. I'm, <laughs> I'm never sure um, who's behind the names. Some of you I'm getting to know, though, because I see you every week, which is so nice. And Hannah, 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 not sure what language you're speaking, but hello. If you can use a translate, I would love to know what you are, um, what you're saying. I don't have the ability to switch over to any kind of translation at the moment because my phone is hidden away above my desk. Okay, that's very pink. So glazing just helps me get a thin layer of paint spread around to change the overall tone of a picture or a painting. In this case, just to add a little oof. I can also use the spray on that just to give it some more depth. I just sprayed that right into my tea. Oh well, just water. Yeah, so can you see this difference? Hopefully you can still see it online. So you've got the water droplets that show through the white down to the green, and then you also have the stuff that shows through this quinacridone red into the white. It's just another level of depth and texture, which I happen to like. And because these are still early layers, still plenty of time to cut them up. All right, now, do some collaging. I almost should add black before I do that. I'm gonna add a couple and then I'm gonna add some black because these are so light they're not gonna be a good contrast against this necessarily. Well I'll add some. candy until <laughs> I add some black in here.
Okay, and even though I'm going to tear this up, I'm not going to plan for where these pieces are going to be on here other than just placing them, if that made any sense. So I'm not going to overly anticipate where these pieces are going to go, where they will appear in the cut-up pieces. I'm going to look for some good spots. The nice thing about doing these lives is I, I can't think about these things too much or I'll bore you guys to tears. So it keeps me moving. And I don't just sit here and contemplate for 20 minutes which I may or may not be known to do outside of these lives. And actually it's helping me hesitate less in my regular studio time as well. So lives are hopefully helpful to you, but they're also very helpful to me. And that's just one of the reasons. Also to connect with you guys Because as an artist, I sit in my studio and time passes. And it's nice to actually connect with people. So thank you for being here. I'm not sure where to put that one yet. pieces this big being a little stingy with my medium which I wasn't trying to do is anybody gonna watch the Oscars this weekend do you have a pick for your favorite movie of the year I'm embarrassed to say, I think I've only seen one of the Best Picture nominees. And the one I saw was Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which was like an explosion of creativity. And I loved it for that. Still trying to figure out how I felt about it. <laughs> there was so much going on. Um, I think I need to watch it again. I'm sure I need to watch it again. But I love the experience of actually being surprised by a movie for a change. And I love how sweet and humble all of the award recipients are and have been. So that's been awesome. I love I love watching I love the underdogs uh, getting a big win. <laughs> seen a movie. Well, I haven't been to the theater. Actually, that's not true. I did go to the theater for Top Gun. Is Top Gun Maverick? I think that is a Best Picture nominee. Actually, that was really fun. It's a really fun movie. Not the best movie in the world, potentially, but it was a lot of fun. Perfect summer fluff movie, especially if, like me, you're old enough to appreciate the amazing 80s soundtrack and all of those similarities from the first movie. I didn't expect to like this collage paper on top of this candy-ish background. Do you guys like how I said I was going to do red and then I turned it to 
all pink. <laughs> I promise the red is coming. Maybe I shouldn't promise. I assume the red is coming. That's my intention. But I'm going to add it after I cut all this up. And my great news is that I have a fancy new, new to me, paper cutter that if you were raised in the you know, 70s and 80s and probably 90s, you remember from your elementary schools and junior high schools, teachers having them because someone always got their fingers pinched. And one of my neighbors uh, gave it to me, which I'm thrilled about because I've always wanted one. And it's much easier to cut giant pieces of paper than to measure it all out with the ruler, which is what I have been doing. So Jill, if you're watching by any chance, thank you. I'm getting tons of use out of it and it makes me feel like the teacher every time I use it. I feel so much power as a make-believe, you know, sixth grade teacher. All right, well. I feel like I should do some black, so I'm going to before I flip it. Oh boy, I think the screen is giving out on me. Can anybody still see and hear over here? All right, for this, I'm going to close my eyes and just wing it. So let's see what happens. All right, eyes are open. That was not nearly as dramatic as I had expected because my paint kind of lost some intensity. So I'll just trace these. Whoa, holy cow, you guys. <laughs> I just dropped my brush loaded with black paint and I caught it again. Really wish that had been on camera. It's probably a thing my kids would be most impressed with that I've done today. There was one time when we made pancakes for the kids and I very confidently, um, kind of in a trash talking way, it was like, give me that spatula. And I grabbed the spatula and I 
you know, grabbed the pancake, put the pancake on the spatula and flipped it and then caught it on the spatula. And they went out of their minds and they told like their teachers, the neighbors. This one time my mom caught a pancake. <laughs> and it's like, so I, I told them I'm never doing it again because I'll never ever top how, um, how much I impressed them with that pancake flip. Okay, well, I don't know who's still there and who's not. I think that most of you are probably not. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And hopefully the internet will stop clocking and I'll still have some people here live. I'm gonna do the smaller pieces. And if not, you guys can catch up on the recording. Okay, so this thing is 30 by 22. Hear the sound of my powerful cutter one moment. So nothing phenomenal, but now we've got something to work with. So now, get my new brush. Oh good, you're still here. <laughs> Thanks, Ida. some giant new brushes. So I'm gonna mix some red actually with some of this darker green. See what kind of neutral I can get. Yeah, I just got black all over my hands. Note to self, check my paper before I get too far ahead. All right, I'm going to add a bunch of white, or yeah, a bunch of white to this. And a little bit more blue. And it's becoming this beautiful, almost a steel gray. a warm steel gray. So looks very warm and purpley here actually.
give up on me yet. She's going to go somewhere. Just not sure where yet. All right, so at least that gives something interesting. So sometimes I paint to highlight what I like, and sometimes I paint to cover up what I don't like. And I don't like a lot of this one. <laughs> so let's add a bunch of paint. of other colors to add in some gesso which quickly got swallowed up Anticipated, but And I use these paper towels just to help me blend some transitions between areas. And I will also use my color shaper, if I can find it. Here we go. This is my catalyst wedge to kind of carve out some of these areas that I don't necessarily want covered. I use a lot of baby wipes in my art. They're just so handy. So even though none of our kids are in diapers anymore, I think I'll always have baby wipes. All right, well, I'm certainly not going to get to finishing places on all of these, but at least it's getting interesting. Let me see if I can get my 
computer going again. So apologies if you guys are chatting with me. <clears throat> I can't see anything. Let's see if I can get another piece of technology going here. Oh good, I am. I'm back now. All right, give up my computer. Oh wow. Hi Valerie. Paper cutter envy. I know the sound, right? It's the sound of almost danger. The thrill that there's it was such a treat when like the teacher let you cut paper with it, right? And I don't know that that ever actually happened that I got to cut paper with it, but it sounds either I dreamt it, some sort of, you know, six year old fantasy, or I actually got to, but either way, again, I feel extremely powerful at the moment. I'm not even sure how I feel about this color, but it's giving me something that's not candy. And I have a lot of candy color. Like I'm calling all these pastels, right? And the very pinky pinks, it's kind of a candy. So I like that it's not that. Sometimes all you have to do is find out what you don't want and continue on. All right, bye, Philip. Don't touch the green one. Oh no, you did. <laughs> Sorry. It's not over yet though. I can tell you one thing, I do not like these stripes I'm making right now. Whew. That's a hard no. What can I turn them into? Like this. Nope, that didn't help. So good news, I can still wipe them off. Bad news, I also took off all that gray. I shouldn't say bad news, I should just say other news. Because I don't really know if it's bad yet. It's just part of the process. So now if I want to, and I do, These are going to take me 
there's a whole lot that needs to happen before these are in any kind of finished state. I do like this one. I like where this one's going. This one, well, there's just a lot going on. Something about this one I like. Something about this one I like, even though it's very candy. I know what this needs. Hold on. Get some quinacridone gold. Of course I'm gonna get quinacridone gold. That'll take some candy feeling out of it. And tie it in with my collage. All right, everybody, I have some work to do on these, <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm sure that you will see these again because the only ones I kind of like right now are these three, but these still need more and that one probably does too. So thank you for joining me. I can't see anyone's chat anymore. So please comment on the video when, I, when it gets posted on the live on YouTube or send me a note to my email address. And remember, if you do want to sign up for the free workshop uh, on April 1st, you need to go to my website, jackieschomberg.com slash workshops and just choose the free one and make sure you register. And that's all it takes. And you can join me for some process art, which is very therapeutic. And if you want to kind of start fresh for spring, uh, that is a great place to start. So any questions, send me an email or write me a comment and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.